So today I'm going to show you a way of doing edge permutation, um, all the edge permutation cases that involve uh, h-perms and u-perms. Um, it's a way of doing it where instead of doing two look, uh, solving the top layer and solving the bottom layer, you do um, you do it one look by using two corner permutation algorithms. Um, so this works for all cases involving h-perms and u-perms. Um, and if you notice, if you do um, if you do an n-perm on top, and then you offset it by 1, you can do it again, and the algorithm still works, and you have an h-perm. Um, so that's, so if you do it and offset it, you get an h-perm. Um, but also, you notice if you do that, there's a j-perm on the bottom, and then if you offset the j-perm and do it back, you get a u-perm. So by combining those two in different ways of offsetting it, um, you can do all cases involving h perms and u perms with uh, just j n perms. So first, I'm going to go over the cases where you have an h perm on top and a u perm on the bottom. Um, so for the recognition, it doesn't matter how you orient the h perm on top because it's always opposite opposite swaps. Um, but for the u perm on the bottom, you always hold the bar on the left, and then I look at this color right here to determine which way I need to offset it. Um, if this edge color doesn't match this corner color, like not match, but the opposite, if this is, the opposite of orange is red, right? So this is not that, so you know it. Um, it's a clockwise U-perm, and so I know that I have to offset it for this. Um, so if it's not the opposite, then you offset it, um, and you just hold the H-perm, you hold it flush on top, and then you do the uh, standard, um, the uh, J on bottom and on top permutation, and that will be in the description. Um, and then you see once you do that, uh, if you offset this back and offset on the top, it um, if you do your algorithm, it will solve the cube. Um, so you, it's the recognition is just knowing which way to offset the U perm, um, and then after you do your algorithm, you offset both of them, so you do like 1, 1, or negative 1, 1, or whatever. Um, so it's pretty simple to recognize and uh, execute. So the second one is when you have an h perm on top, it doesn't matter, you just hold it flush. And here is the opposite on the bottom. Um, so I notice that this is red, and so it's opposite of this, so it's a counterclockwise u perm. And so you just hold it like this, you don't offset it by a 1, and then you do your algorithm. And now you have to do a 1, negative 1. You have to offset both of the layers. And it's solved. So now for the cases where there's a U-perm on the top and an H-perm on the bottom. Again, it doesn't matter how you orient the, the H-perm. But the U-perm, you hold the bar on the left. And then you look at this color right here. And I see that is it is not the opposite. Um, so you have to offset it by 1. And then you do your algorithm for the H-perm, or for the N-perm on the bottom. Um, so then once you do that, you offset both layers by a 1, and then do it again, and it's solved. So now for the U-perm on top and H-perm on the bottom, the other one, um, so it doesn't matter how you hold the H-perm, hold the bar on the left for the U-perm, and you see that it is opposite, the edge color is opposite from that color, so you don't offset it, so you just do your standard J on top and on bottom algorithm, and then you have to offset both layers by a 1, and then do that, and there you go. This also works if you have two U-perms. Um, let's say you do the algorithm for a J-perm on both layers, like that. Um, and then if you offset both by one, uh, you notice that you can still do the algorithm. It feels a little weird at first, but you'll get used to it. You can still do it. And now you have two U-perms. Um, I don't do I don't do two U-perms this way unless if it's oriented perfectly, like with the bar in the back, so I don't have to AUF before doing it. Um, that's the only time I use it. Normally for this U-perm case, I would just do opposite opposite switch, and then reset it, and it's an adjacent switch. Um, but that's a different video. You can also use this for two H-perms, and I actually do this one. When I have two H-perms, I do two CP algorithms. Um, so for this, you do the double N-perm, which is like that. Algorithm's in the description. And then you offset both layers by one, and then you 
do it again, and it solves. So it's a really fast way of doing two H firms. It's a lot better than doing uh, two look. So I think that's a very useful way of doing EP when you have that com combination of cases. I think it's very fast, very easy to recognize, and it's a lot better than doing two look. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, just leave a comment or message me um, at my channel, uh, and a link to that is in the description. Um, so thank you for watching. Hope this helps.